This offers several difficulty settings, so whether or not you're completely new to this sort of thing or, you know, an expert, it should provide an okay challenge. It does take a bit of a leap in difficulty near the end. And finally, a couple of suggestions for what could be improved for the sequel. I think it would be good if it took more chances. Maybe upset a few people, but at least stand out more. This is too generic. The ASE should be a more important part of the game. I personally like it to be less black and white, but I don't know. I, I understand that first person shooters aren't meant to really challenge us on an ethical level. And definitely give the game some more mythology. I mean, if you're gonna go with, you know, hidden messages on walls that the players have to find, radio transmissions that they can overhear, there really should be more of a detailed background. In general, it should be more fleshed out. Characters, plot, the whole shebang. But yeah, very enjoyable, gorgeous, fun, but fairly run-of-the-mill. I mean, it is where stuff like Half-Life and such is, and that was over ten years ago. Where it's up-to-date and where it stands out is that it's good graphics on the Wii, and it's a shooter for the Wii, and a really good one at that. That's it for my spoiler-free review. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. It was kind of irritating how it had to go through the motions of, you know, the Secret Service agent doesn't trust the hacker. I mean, no one believed for a second that the rest of the game wasn't going to have you following him. I did like the twist that Prometheus is like, you know, the model for all of the rest of the drudge that you've been fighting. Am I the only one who thought that Ford was rather quickly convinced that he had to destroy him. I mean, there wasn't even like, no, Prometheus, can I just transport you away and keep you safe somewhere? Should I really kill you? I do kind of like that he's now, like, inside the ASE, as far as I understood. That should prove kind of cool for the sequel. I mean, they'd better bring that back. And I hope it's Kevin Sorbo again. Am I the only one who thought that it was insufficiently explained why you couldn't just show the president that Ford was still working for him. I mean, I'll grant that maybe Prometheus could not hack into and, you know, send the feed to the president, but I'm not sure they ever actually say that. Prometheus just says, no, he bel he's certain you're a puppet now, you know, Adams has convinced him. I don't know, maybe he's really, really persuasive. It was kind of weak how, like, the last level was basically just, you know, okay, now here's a massive wave of enemies and, you know, defeat them and that's it. I thought it was a little interesting how you never actually see any of the main characters. I mean, at most you see <coughs> Prometheus hanging there. I stole the ASE and then you inadvertently got it back to Adams. What do you mean? Inadvertently? It means that you didn't intend- oh, that's not what you were asking, sorry. I've avoided killing you. Except, of course, for all the men and aliens under my command who you fought, who all had orders to kill you. Never mind. Am I the only one who thought it was a little bit distressing that you were constantly killing human beings? They were puppets, yes, but they were still human beings. Again, like with, you know, Prometheus, Ford doesn't seem to care. In fact, I think he shows a little more concern for Prometheus. But I have only played it once, so maybe I'm remembering wrong. I mean, you know, a stun weapon, capture them something. I guess that makes this the game reverse version of District 9. I'm a big fan of martial arts and, you know, fight scenes and stuff, but I'm sorry, the fighting off the creatures at the end was kind of silly. He could have used the gun, it went on for too long, it didn't feel that intense, and when, once we get to the point where he, you know, uses the ASE to, you know, bash one of them with, I mean, did we even know it to particularly have any weight? Every time we see it, it's floating above his hand. How did he know that it wasn't just, like, every bit as heavy as a crumble up piece of paper? I admit that it looks like it's metal or something, but it's also 
not human. It's not our technology. How can we be sure that it's heavy? Has anyone else noticed how in these kinds of plots it's usually you know the president has been tricked we have to make him realize the truth you know I mean there's this hitman blood money I mean apart from stuff like Deus Ex where it's nice and ambiguous it's usually kind of straightforward very careful not to criticize you know for example the president I mean think of it this way how many times in a game or movie have you heard the word spoken the commander-in-chief is wrong I mean, I realize this is just a video on a console game and not a particularly deep or brainy one of that, but I nevertheless feel compelled to say that I think it's very dangerous to blindly trust any one person, no matter who they might be. We should consider any decision or stance that they have and not just trust blindly that just because they're in the position that they are that they're always right. And just in case this message is now being intercepted by the CIA, it wouldn't be the FBI since I'm not in the US. Hello, Agent Smith. I, I like your hair and it's, is that a new earwig? I mean, not everyone can pull that look off, but I mean, you, you make it say something, man. That, that's fantastic. And to my viewership, in case you don't hear anything from me for a while, it's probably because I'm being held for questioning. What an appropriate game for that to happen from, what with all the conspiracy theories. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.